there, this is Eric from George's Music and I want to introduce you to a new instrument we are carrying. It's from Yamaha and they call it the Gitalele, or part number GL1 as we all know it, but you gotta check this thing out. Let's take a closer look at it. If you notice, it actually looks like, uh, kind of like a guitar actually. I mean, that's where Yamaha got their git from. But uh, on the top strings, we're gonna have a ukulele on top. So I'm gonna actually go through the strings, some of the features here, and actually how you can start to play right away on this thing and actually uh, understand it. The uh, first thing you actually have to understand is that it is not tuned to a standard guitar pitch. The low string, or the sixth string on a gitalele, is actually an A note, or an A string. Uh, when you move to the fifth string, that is a D, and then you've got your G, C, E, and A strings. So if you take a look at it on top, you've got your, your standard ukulele, like your concert or soprano ukulele, uh, and on the bottom fifth and sixth string, they're tuned uh, just a little differently. It's almost like having your uh, capo at the fifth fret on a guitar. So you've got A, D, G, C, E, and A. You can tune this uh, gitalele to a uh, standard pitch, which, which is uh, in guitar terms E, A, D, G, B, E. However, the strings kind of get a little floppy at that point, and sometimes the tone isn't all that great. So we definitely recommend what Yamaha recommends and tune it uh, using uh, A as your sixth string on up. Uh, what is, uh, comes on the guitar is standard classical strings, so normal tension would be just fine. On the back you can actually see they tied it here, nice, uh, but uh, if you need to you can use ball and classical strings, work well. We certainly do not recommend steel strings on this because there is no truss rod for this. It's got a uh, spruce top, it's got Maranti back and sides, it's got a NATO wood neck, it's an all satin finish, it's got a really cool open headstock, kind of classic looking and uh, really fits well in your hands. Uh, when I was experimenting with mine, um, you know, I typically started to play it like a guitar. But after I started thinking about it, I thought, geez, here's really what's unique about this uh, gitalele. If you are a ukulele player, you probably typically have played like a C that looks something like this. And just use four strings, obviously. But since this is an A string, and now this is an A string, um, if this is a C note on my uh, ukulele, I know that this is a C note on my gitalele. So now I can actually add this really cool bass to my chords. And if I wanted to, uh, if I remember my uh, C major scale, I could actually move right on up and complement my C chord. I've got it all the way up, and there's my C right here. To you guitar players, it probably looks like a G chord, but actually that is a C major chord on the gitalele. So uh, I get like a nice little walking bass line. I can also add some of these lower bass notes to my chords. So uh, my friends out there who play uh, maybe somewhere over the rainbow, you know that that first chord is a, a C, and then it goes to a G, and then it goes to an F, and it goes back to a C. That's your, your typical progression there. Uh, but now, since I know that this note will fit my chord, I can get a nice cool bass line. I can also play my uh, G chord that looks something like this. That's a G note there. Add a little bit of bass. And check this out. For you U players, this looks like a, uh, an F major chord. And to you guitar players, it looks like an A minor 7. Not to confuse you, but check this out. This note right here on the gitalele, it's actually an F. So now my F chord that didn't really kind of have a lot of bottom, now can have a little bit of bottom to it. So you have your like your C to your G and to your F back to your C. All right. So um, if you get a little confused about this, just take uh, one quick step and always go up. And how I found the best way to do it is if you are used to playing guitar, find the note that is typically on the guitar. Like for instance, this would be a G on the guitar, and go up a fourth from that note. So if I were to play this on standard tuned guitar, I'd have G, A, B, and C. Well, that note right here is a fourth above G, so that actually note is a C note. Um, and that's how you can kind of experiment. So by, uh, by doing that, you can certainly make your ukulele playing really come alive, or if you're a guitar player, it's great to add to any recording mix uh, or live situation. It's actually really, really fun. So there you have it. It is new at George's Music. It's the Yamaha Gitalele. Actually, comes with a really cool carry bag like this. Um, fits in overhead, no problem. Great travel instrument. 
new at George's Music. Check it out in our stores or online at georgesmusiconline.com. Have fun with it. Thank you.